oh my goodness, why does this feel like an actual, like first lady style outfit? This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I love it with the bag as well. Oh my gosh, let me, help you. Let me drop you down. What a way to start the vlog with the ultimate elegant power outfit. This is so cute. Imagine this to go for like a really lovely lunch in like London or something like that. Oh, sorry, I'm having a massive mammoth try on session at the moment because I am heading to an event this evening with Serge Lutin and I'm also um, heading to Garrard and I also have a shoot day tomorrow. So I need to plan my outfits because I'm gonna get back fairly sort of around 9, 10-ish and I need to plan outfits that I'm going to be shooting tomorrow um, at the manor house that we're going to be shooting at and this time I'm really lucky because Ali's coming with me so um, yeah it should be a really really lovely day. Katie's coming um, so it's going to be manic but it's, I think it's going to be good and we're going to be exploring some of the most beautiful gardens that I have ever ever seen. I'm going to link this outfit in the description box down below. This is from Lily Silk. I've obviously accessorised it with some of my own pieces, but I've had the biggest del delivery of just the most incredible quality Lily Silk items, and I'm going to go through them with you. But this outfit, I honestly feel like I mean business, but like I'm still in my feminine energy, if that makes sense. Oh my God, I love this. So I'm not going to get into the haul right now. I'm going to um, choose my outfit. And one of the things I did want to wear is the dress that I've got under here, but I've got it in black as well. And I'm trying to decide what type of day it is. However, I have just double checked the price of this blazer. And I almost feel like it looks even chicer without the belt. Like, look at that. So this blazer on the website is 145 pounds. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. 145 pounds i've got a discount code which is millen 12 which will get you another 12 percent off the price of this and this is why i work with lily silk this exact piece is you just see this throughout all of their um collections and their items this is the most classic cut like look at that slant to the lapels that double breasted nipped in balmain-esque shape to it with the structured shoulders but not overly structured still very classic with this ivory lily silk dress with my discount code you will get this for just under 127 pounds for a blazer like this it's unheard of in fact i almost want to go back in time because i remember my nail lady um at the nail salon that i used to go to in Stony Stratford wanted a blazer just like this and she's now left. I don't even know where she where she is now, but she wanted a blazer just like this and I actually couldn't find it was it's very, very similar to a blazer that I already had, but I couldn't find the one that was like a good price that was good quality. And of course, Lily Silk come through. I feel so wonderful in this. I'll link this in the description box. My code, like I said, is Millen12. This also has stretch to it. So it's like not rigid. Anyway, I'm gonna stop going on about this blazer. What I'm thinking I'm gonna wear is this dress that I've got underneath, which I'm wearing in the ivory, which again, you've seen me wear this the other day. Um, I love it kind of off the shoulders like this, um, but I've got it in the black as well, because it's kind of like a sensual, <laughs> such a weird word to use, but because it's like a sensual evening at Claridge's, um, and I know that because I'm working with Serge Lutana, it's like, I'm, I'm thinking black and I've got this in black, so maybe I'll try that on. Um, I'm gonna choose my outfit of the day. Also, one thing I wanted to say to you, for weeks and weeks and weeks, I've been meaning to say this, there is this issue on YouTube at the moment where bot accounts are responding to you in the comments as if it's me. It is not me, okay? Please, please, please ignore those bot accounts that tell, tell you to contact them on some, something that you've won a, a giveaway. If you don't hear me say it in this video, it is nothing to do with me. I block these accounts every single time. I blacklist the words that they're using and every single time they are back. And it's so infuriating because every time I go to look at comments and look at the responses, it's just this bot account as well. I've tried everything. There is nothing I can do. This is very much a YouTube issue, but I wanted to put it in a video so that you guys know that that is like fraudulent. Please don't give them any information. It's not me and put that to bed. Um, also, my lemon verbena plant has just arrived. I ordered this off of the back of my um, gardening 
uh, course at Le Manoir, it's arrived in a beautiful little package, so I need to get it into a pot. So what I'm not gonna do is get dressed for this evening right now. What I am going to do is probably put on something that isn't quite so wonderful, save my outfit and we'll get dressed in a bit. I also want to film a TikTok of getting ready, but I couldn't not show you that outfit. I was trying it on. Oh, I also need to pick outfits that I'm gonna wear for tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I've got so much to do. And this is where you'll see that I get quite like overwhelmed because I'm like, I know I need to do this and I know I need to do this and I know I need to do that. And I've got so much to do. So what I think I'm gonna do is pop something on quickly, run out to the greenhouse. I'm gonna put my cucumber seeds into pots and I'm gonna put the lemon verbena into a pot quickly so that I don't have to worry about those tomorrow. Um, then I'm gonna come back in, choose my outfit with you, and then choose my outfits for tomorrow. Perfect. So these are the germinated seeds that I'm going to be taking out to the greenhouse. And then this is what has just arrived. This is my lemon verbena plant that we actually tasted when we were at uh, Le Manoir and it, well, no, it didn't taste, we smelt it and it smelled absolutely incredible. So I want to get this in a fairly good sized pot so that it can grow in and um, establish itself because oh, rubbing this between your fingers, it just smells so wonderful. I love that it arrived like this as well. I mean, I hope this, I think this is, yeah, this is compostable and also recycled. So um, it's all safe. And then I also got some seeds. I got some cabbage, which I thought I would grow as well. So quickly run out into the greenhouse. I am in a dressing gown because I thought there's no point in me putting on leggings and trousers and what have you. I'm just gonna shove this on whilst I uh, choose my outfit and, um, get these into pots. When the sun shines out here, it is heaven on earth. Everything is sprouting so beautifully, but luckily for me, I have, it's like pims o'clock, I have some little prepared um, seed pots ready that I didn't actually plant anything into the other day. So I'm gonna just throw those seeds in there now, and then I'm gonna pot up a bigger pot for the verbena. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the ultimate in like, my two worlds colliding, basically. Um, someone messaged me last night, and they're like, I don't know how you do it all. And it's like, well, this is how I do it, because I realize that I've got small pockets of where I can throw some seeds in or pot up a plant, and that's basically, how I do it. So I've actually got, um, what's it called? All of my uh, dibbers in use at the moment. So we're going to be doing this one with a lollipop stick, just so I can get these seeds in. So these are my cucumbers, which have just sprouted and I'm wanting to be quicker with my seed to, my germination to pot timing so that I can start getting more done because I was waiting for all of them to germinate and in reality it'll take me forever so just pop this little root into there put it to bed so if there's any mud under my fingernails at the event later you know why <laughs> now what let's do use a pot for my verbena. Um, I feel like I need quite a big pot to be honest but I'm scared to pick these up without Ali present. Ah, that'll do. Okay, let's get this little baby in there. So it says remove the paper from the root balls. Aha! So we could actually probably do two pots worth. Hmm. Put these to one side. Okay, mission accomplished in the greenhouse. Feeling good that I managed to tick this off my list. Now on to the next one. Verbena in, cucumbers in, and everything just given a quick water because I won't be in here tomorrow. Okay, outfits are sorted for tomorrow. And the one thing I've realized 
is this bank holiday has to be a bit more of a productive one. So I think I'm probably going to have a bit of a spring clean of my dressing room, pack things down and swap over um, whatever it is that I'm kind of not needing out. Um, it's definitely easier for me in summer to pack down a wardrobe because I don't often go to cold places in spring, summer, but in autumn, winter in the UK, I often go to like warmer places. So I need to keep my summer wardrobe out. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have a big pack down because it's just got a bit hectic, but I've sorted through outfits. And my dress for the evening is this from Lily Silk. So this is the black version. Just to show you it without a coat, I've got a little thread on me. This is the same dress as the ivory one, but I went for the black because it's kind of an evening thing and the fragrance is, a, is quite a deep, like it's kind of a nighttime fragrance really. So I wanted to dress a little bit more nighttime to complement the fragrance, if you catch my drift. Um, I've even popped boots on with it as well. And again, my code is Millen12, so if you wanted to pick this up as well, this is so comfortable and a perfect sort of winter to spring transition because this is knitted. And the real selling point of this is this is 80% silk. So there's beautiful compositions to the fabric as well, so that it's super breathable and comfortable to wear, it's soft against my skin, but you're gonna get obviously the saving from my code, but Lily Silk is also, for the quality, just incredible. So when I take my coat off later on, I'm going to feel very, very lovely wearing this dress. So I am, I think the only thing left to do on my um, to-do list now is to edit some content so that I can post that this evening and then we are good to go good to head down just pop in say hello I've got obviously some bits to do return the shoes blah 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 do all of those bits and then come home good stuff I panic changed my outfit so I'm quickly going to show you um what I'm wearing now instead I went back to the cream uh lily silk dress I've got um, some heeled Louboutins in a bag so that I can change for the event once I've finished run running around. Um, and then I've gone for my Holland Cooper coat and tan accessories. It's just too sunny. I can't cope with, with how sunny it is and then being in an all black outfit. So I had a bit of a panic change, but I'm gonna pack up my bag. What do I need to get? What did I say I needed to get? Batteries. Batteries. <laughs> Good job you're here, Grayson. Well, this is a blast from the past. Ali, Ali and I used to shoot at this one location in Milton Keynes all the time because basically we obviously lived in Milton Keynes and didn't live in London. So getting to London to shoot different outfits and things like that was so hectic that we used to come to the National Rail building <laughs> because it was the only thing that could maybe look a little bit like a sort of London office building. <laughs> And we were so not good at like communicating at that time when we were trying to work together that we just used to be shouting at each other all the time. And now it's so weird to come back like this is where we used to come all the time. How funny is this? Now that we've moved further into the country, we're just happy to do it in a field. <laughs> but anyway, we're just about to get to the station and head down to London. Well, I have finished up at uh, Garrard and I think that I've come to the conclusion that not yet is the answer to that. <laughs> but anyway, we then have left, we've gone to Cellier and then we popped into Harrods and I am officially banned from buying fragrances. I'm, I'm banned. You heard it here first, Carrie, I'm banned. Oh, yeah. I tried to ban you there and then. And I know. You didn't listen to me. So, so I, I hold no hope for this ban. <laughs> I went into the um, the beauty halls of Harrods and I went to like where they have all of the sort of skincare, but luxury skincare and makeup and blah blah. blah. I went to Shantikai and I saw their Wild Meadow collection. I had seen little bits of this online, and I bought a lipstick and a blush. And um, then I smelt their fragrances. <gasps> I bought the one that's called Tier, which is based on the flower in Bora Bora, which I actually don't think it smells like that at all. I think it smells like blossom in the UK, like when you, you smell springtime and you smell that first blossom, that's what it smells like. And then I bought Patel, or Patel, Patel, Patale, I don't know, Patel, um, which was just as beautiful and I'm not allowed. I'm, you've heard it here first, I'm not allowed. 
So now we're heading to the event and then we'll be heading home. Oh, we may enjoy that. I had to put you down to get my camera out. Yes, I am back from London and it was a really lovely evening. I, I only managed to stay for just over an hour at the Serge Lutin um, event. It was so lovely, so intimate. And it was actually in a bar in Claridge's that I've never been to before. The canapes were exceptional and it was so lovely to meet more of the Serge Lutin team. I spent so much time talking that I think I only filmed a little clip of um, the beef. <laughs> That's all I filmed. I was terrible, but I do get yabbering on and it probably is my own fault, but it was such a nice event. And um, it was nice to also come back. I had virgin cocktails and come back at a good time because usually Carrie and I get quite carried away. Um, I don't know if I've told you, but Ali was doing probably the coolest thing today. He was shooting a campaign for Purdy. Now I'm probably not allowed to show you anything, but Porty and I have just been looking at behind the scenes, haven't we? Of your daddy, it's where you get your good looks from. It is where you get your good looks from. We are so proud of daddy, aren't we? Aren't we? So proud. But yes, his outfit looks amazing. And it was just a very lovely day in London, but coming home to a proud daddy who'd been a purdy model all day and then come home and cooked us dinner. But you are very tired. It is past your bedtime. We need to go to bed because you've got a busy shoot day tomorrow. I wish you could come with us. It's crazy, it? You're so heavy. How is such a small sausage so heavy? Yeah, it's the cheese tax. It's the cheese tax. You have too much cheese. I can't tell you how happy you make me. Oh, Lummy! You hear Lummy meowing? Oh. So, anyway, oh, I felt super lovely in my dress all day. The way this moves is so beautiful. I'll see if I can um, insert the picture of the way this dress moves. Because it's got that silk detailing to it, it sort of, even though it's knitted, it has this movement to it where it's super elegant and flowy because it's got this like pleating detail and it just clings very, very nicely. I'm actually gonna be um, using this in the black to shoot tomorrow as well. So yes, anyway, I'm gonna get myself ready for bed. Um, I did get a lovely new bottle of Eca de Fumé from Serge Lutin, and I was actually complimented on my um, pronunciation of Serge Lutin. I'm trying to be better um, at pronouncing things, but because I'm British, um, it's not always easy to, to get the pronunciation of things because we, you, there's S's and sometimes they're pronounced and sometimes they're not, and sometimes an I-N is, is an in, but it also might be an uh, and it's very difficult, but I try my best. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm gonna get myself cozy, take the boys to bed and get ready for tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Listen to that sound. <laughs> it makes me so, so happy. Um, I am up and getting ready for a shoot day at Ashby Manor House. Um, it's looking like it's raining in the afternoon, but. Fingers crossed we can be out in the gardens for the morning and then go into the house maybe later on in uh, the afternoon. I am sort of midway through my makeup, but what I wanted to do was open what I bought in Harrods Beauty with you um, quickly. However, I'm gonna quickly cut to some trying on bits for Lily Silk. Remember, I've got my discount code, which is MILLEN12. Um, I'm not sure, well, I've got some outfits planned for today to shoot, I've got a really like preppy blue kind of number to shoot at Ashby Manor House. But I'm gonna try loads of bits on with you because there's so many, I'm gonna be so quick. So I'm just gonna cut to that now. Okay, bear in mind with this outfit, I actually can't walk in these shoes. And I learned this when I went down to London recently and I wore them. So just, just appreciate how beautiful they look, but also how beautiful this outfit is. This is my dream absolute dream when i tell you that i actually cannot cope 
with how incredible lily silk is i they just get better they just get better every year every season so what i'm wearing at the moment is 100 percent mulberry silk so the highest highest quality the best tailoring you're gonna have to ignore my bra because i've not put a proper bra with this but um this halter top with the bow at the back and these trousers this is like the ultimate chic look i look as always whenever i put on lily silk stuff like i belong in the french riviera i told you earlier on in the video that i had a discount code which was millen 12 i also have another discount code so it's basically whichever discount suits your shopping basket the best but the other discount code is millen 30 and that will get you buy one get one 30 percent off so it's basically whichever one suits you better in terms of like maximizing on your savings but these trousers are spectacular like look at look at the detail because of the length of them perfect for wearing with flats as well let me just swap to some slides because if you do so happen to be off on your holidays in the coming weeks you can just swap them straight over to some flats so this for me i always say it but I love wearing things like this because first and foremost, I am so comfortable. Like I could be anywhere at a barbecue and I can just, my trousers are comfortable. There's room. It's just, oh my God, I'm in love. Absolutely in love. They do these in other colors as well. But then if you get chilly, if you get chilly, we have the perfect classic addition to an outfit like this in the form of the dream and probably the best priced blazer of this kind that I have ever come across to pop over the top. So you can wear it with um, obviously this beautiful halter neck, silk halter neck, super classic style and just the dream in terms of looking expensive on a much more, like these, these types of pieces would cost you quadruple in this kind of fabric if you put like a brand name on it. It's, it blows my mind that we're actually able to do this. And the thing that I love is this high waist, the length of the trousers, it's all classic. These are all things that you can swap and change. You can add jumpers to the, these trousers. Like imagine the trousers with like a um, sort of ivory cream jumper or a nautical stripe jumper. This, they're just a, a really great option for chopping and changing with items that you already have in your wardrobe. Whilst also knowing that you're not gonna ruin them by scuffing them on the floor, because they're a great length. Pockets, belt loops, I am obsessed. I'm just gonna try it on with the uh, blue shirt because this was a look that I wanted to shoot and I didn't get a chance to because it was miserable. I just don't have any words. I honestly can't cope with how good this is. I usually roll up my sleeves on my shirts, but this for a spring summer office look, uh, work look, whatever you're doing, I, I think this is stunning, absolutely stunning. You could go for obviously a jumper over your shoulders if there's still a little bit of transitional weather going on. But for me, this is it. Look at, I honestly can't cope. I can't cope with how good these are. Like this could be Celine, this could be, I'm, I've got no words. I actually can't put it into words how good this is. And just such classic elements and so beautiful. So you might have like the navy blue blazer already, but this silk shirt with the with the um, typical navy stripe underneath could just be like the addition. Personally, I think the trousers are an essential. If you don't own trousers like this already, these double pleats, the high waist, the length, they're going to elevate the blazer as well, give you another option, but also so comfortable. If you're going to an office, if you're working from home, but you don't, if you're like me and you work from home, and you're also like me and you have to get dressed every day as part of your routine, these are going to be like tracksuit bottoms. Obviously silk, so um, you want to be good with them, but not like blowing the bank silk, like. For example, in my last video, I bought a silk dress and it was four figures, 
absolutely, like, it blows my mind when I realise that you can get things like this, 100% silk, and at this price, unreal. Okay, next option. I've just shown you 100 ways to style these trousers. Um, so yeah. So I'll show you the dress first, and I'm gonna style it up differently. No tan accessories this time, um, but this is a beautiful 100% silk striped uh, shirt dress with short sleeves. You can obviously do it up to the top, or you can have it like open. I personally really like to have um, the shirt dress, especially in summertime, open. Um, I'm gonna go with a real kind of Chanel-esque casual day look, I think. So classic flap and classic Chanel ballet pump. So you don't have to go for the tan accessories if they're not necessarily your vibe. Um, we can also add the blazer, of course, but this is the point where it makes me want to change it to my tan accessories because I can style it up a different way with the addition of this, which I think so many of you are going to love. But this to me is just another way to wear, and you can pick these ballet flats up vintage as well, so you don't actually have to get them brand new if you find them in your size. So that's also good, but this, silk scarf when we were saying that we were loving orange <laughs> i am in love with this as like a detail if you wanted to add it to your hair or simply add it onto your bag i love the look of a sort of classic whether it's vintage or not silk scarf to your bag i think it instantly changes things up and just gives it a bit of a softer feel but something a bit more considered as well so I always pop it like that. Obviously you can just hold it like this if you want to. I always think they look better if, and I always feel that wearing a blazer actually gives it more of a preppy feel, but like this is incredible, absolutely incredible. I can pull the sleeves up like this, and this is such a comfortable blazer because it's got that stretch to it, that natural stretch, you're gonna feel so comfortable. You're not gonna feel too rigid. Again, great for like every day, great for the spring, summer when it can get quite hot. But I'm not gonna stop there though because there's a dress. There's a dress, just give me five, give me five. This really is that more uh, holiday vibe, if you ask me. But again, 100% silk, the fit around the arm area. So this is kind of like that silk scarf has been turned into a dress. Again, works really lovely with more classic tones as well. I mean, you wouldn't necessarily have it with the scarf at the same time, but I have to tell you this, this necktie here also comes off. So you're essentially getting a scarf and a dress in one, but this is like more of a twilly. So if you wanted to add this to like a Kelly or just the handle of like your wicker bag or something like that, it's going to basically add this color tone to that as well. So you're kind of getting two in one with this dress as well, but great for like dressing up for more dressy occasions, but also this is something that like, you can imagine wearing in like Ibiza or something like that. It'll make your tan pop and oh, the open back, I just love. And then one more bit, one more bit. Okay, <laughs> there's also the navy version of the trousers as well. It's 100% silk. I've then popped these with the striped shirt and the blazer, and you'll be pleased to know that the navies completely, completely match. It's a change in material, but I think that that dresses it down slightly and stops it from looking like you're wearing a proper sh like pantsuit. This is I feel like lily silk are like almost the most fun to style up because everything's so considered that it all goes together. So you're like, you can get everything in like one outfit. They even do waist belts. They have this really lovely um, gold waist belt that's like super pared back, um, classic, like not, it's like quiet luxury style, just a gold bar. So um, that's always an option if you don't go for like the more elevated accessories. Again, you can wear it just as a shirt on its own as well. I feel like this looks so chic. You could just do like low bun, like messy low bun. That, that's my messy low bun. Um, but yeah, just to give you an idea. I love this, oh my gosh, love, 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 love. So just a reminder that my codes are Millen12, which will get you an extra 12% off 
and you can also use Millen 30 which is basically buy one get one 30% off and you can use both of those codes together so even when I was telling you about the jacket in the beginning you can get even more of a saving on um, the jacket basically everything that I've shown you so um, I'll link everything in the description box down below I hope that makes sense so you can use the two codes together I actually got I thought initially it was like either or because these are already so well priced and then with both of the discounts I actually just had to check. I was like, is that, is that right? <laughs> but um, yes, I think these will also, what I wanted to say is that these will look really lovely in boots as well. You know, I like that sort of juxtaposition of um, trousers tucked into like riding boots and things like that. This is the perfect style because you can just fold them in and still get that really nice shape at the top. But yes, Millen 12 and Millen 30 and you can use both. And we're back and I'm going to, I want to try this lipstick out that I got from Cordelie. So um, they have this collection called the Wild Meadow collection, collection and I bought the Apple Boss Bossom Blossom Blush. Um, to be honest, I didn't need anything from this collection. Um, I've got a really good blush that I'm using at the moment, but I just, I just couldn't not, okay? I couldn't resist all of the loveliness of it. Um, I don't think it like smells or anything, but no, it doesn't smell, but my typical kind of hot... Actually, do you know what? This reminds me of the blush that I wore on my wedding day um, from By Terry, but this one looks a little bit more like, I don't know, it's a bit more like pinky, which excites me. And I'm just about to do my blush. Oh my gosh, so pigmented, my goodness. Bit overzealous there. <laughs> oh, so pretty. I'm not going to be a typical influencer and go, <gasps> but this is very, very pretty. Beautiful blend. Nice hint of colour, very kind of like English rose. Oh, I really like how that looks. Very, very spring. And again, you could probably use this on your eyes as well. It's kind of blurring as well. That's completely blurred. The pores on my cheeks whilst giving me... A little spritz of colour. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. So yeah, I loved that collection. And then I also bought the um, Meadow lipstick, which looked more pinky than my usual corals. But I couldn't resist. It's got like all of this beautiful floral designs on, on the packaging. Same as the blush. Um, so let's try it out. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is really unexpected. So this is definitely like more pinky than my usual, but it's like a sheer balmy lipstick. I really like that. Oh my gosh, I really, really like this collection. And then the impulse purchases. I don't know if you've ever smelled the Chantecai um, perfumes. I had not. And I don't think I've been this excited about a fragrance since High Grove Bouquet <laughs> from Pen Halligans, if I'm being perfectly honest. So I bought Tier. So if you don't know, Tier is the, I think it's the native flower to Bora Bora. This doesn't smell like that flower, in my opinion. Um, it doesn't smell like the Nars Manoi body oil. Um, this smells like the first day of spring. And I mean that, like, I know I talk about the time that I first smell spring a lot, but this is what that smells like. And I actually, I couldn't believe it. I think people were looking at me like I was mental in um, the Harrods Beauty Hall. The bottles are beautiful as well. So this is the bottle. Um, kind of looks like something from the Crystal Maze on top. But yeah, this is like spring blossom. literal spring blossom so if you're looking for something super different I don't think I've ever heard anybody say I wear the Chantecai fragrances this is unreal and actually it's an expensive fragrance so it's about 150 pounds um oh my gosh oh my gosh this is so nice <laughs> I can't go how nice it is oh my 
my gosh, it literally smells like a fragrant bunch of flowers. It is just unreal, unreal. So they're expensive, 150 pounds is, is an expensive fragrance. It's not your like entry level fragrance or anything like that. But um, it is more affordable than like your sort of quite niche fragrances, I would say. Dogs are barking because that bin sounds like the front door going. Um, but yeah, so that was the first one. That was the one that sort of, I, I instantly was like, I need to buy that. Not because of the, the, the connotations to Bora Bora, but because that smells like a British country garden, in my opinion. And then the next one that I bought is Petals, or Petals? I think I might just call it Petals. Um, this was an impulse one that I wanted, I actually wanted to buy three but I could only justify buying two, which is ridiculous because I shouldn't have actually been buying any, but I'm banned from now on, I promise. I'm banned from buying any fragrances moving forward. It's so beautiful as well. Like they'll look so lovely displayed. Every time I put something in my bin, he thinks it's someone at the front door because it goes all in there. It's such a grumpy sausage. The funny thing is, I would say that almost like the names of these need to be swapped because this smells more like the tiare flower and this smells more like, you know, British petals and pollen and what have you. Because this is definitely more like, this is like the summery one, but this one for me is the hero. If you're looking for a spring fragrance that is just, I, I've never smelt anything that smells like this, ever. Yeah, I've never. Never smell anything that smells like this. It is absolutely spectacular. Every time I'm putting something down, he's on high alert today. Anyway, I'm gonna get my, that, that was all I got. Yeah, that was all I got from Harrods. Um, I'm going to get the rest of my makeup done and get ready for Katie to arrive. And so the sausages can also calm down because they need to calm down very clearly. And we are up and dressed. I'm wearing this 100% silk shirt dress from Lily Silk. This is the most beautiful shade of navy. Perfect for a spring day, I think, because it's such a weird time for dressing at the moment. Um, just being able to find things that don't look too spring summer, but also don't feel too autumn winter. So I'm bare legged with my usual ballet pumps. And I actually didn't realize how uncomfortable my Ralph Lauren ones are on my toes. Um, my Manolos are so much more comfortable. So yes, still on the hunt for some more ballet flats, I think. Um, but usual tan accessories. This is just exquisite, this shirt. I actually can't cope with it. Perfect length, nice like midi length. You could pop a jumper with this. You can easily pop a coat, just super easy to style up. So very, very happy. Um, I'm waiting for Katie to arrive. We're just loading up the car now to head to Ashby Manor House. So I am so looking forward to this, you have no idea. I'm gonna be seeing their Alley Tex greenhouse for the first time. Um, the lady who owns um, Ashby Manor House actually ended up having the same guys who built my greenhouse build hers just a few months ago. She got it just in time for the growing season. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what she's got in there. I'm looking forward to seeing the gardens because at the moment we have a beautiful sunny day, which I don't think we could have been more lucky with. So yes. We're gonna load things up and get going as soon as possible. Through the keyhole. <laughs> Through the keyhole. We have arrived to Ashby Manor House and it is, well, it's a little bit raining at the moment, but it is still looking better than the first time we came, so I don't care. <laughs> and we have arrived. Well, I am very, very excited to be back in this location. We are back at Ashby Manor House. And first of all, I have to say a huge thank you to two of you because Nova has just let me know that two of you have booked your weddings at this venue off the back of my first video here. And I am so honored, like so honored that you would trust me in that way because weddings are big deals and I mean, this really is, for a wedding, one of the most spectacular locations. And I'm seeing this again for like the first time because we're basically here when it's not pouring with rain. It's spitting, but we're plowing on through because I want to shoot in these gardens. And these gardens are truly spectacular. Like look at all of this. This is 
one of the many walled gardens here at Ashby Manor House and I'm going to be showing you the vegetable garden, I'm going to be showing you the pool, uh, the walled garden, we've got these beautiful blossom trees which is where we're going to shoot to begin with today and um, lots to show you so yes I can't wait to give you a tour of this spectacular garden and also show you the house in good light because I feel like we were really struggling the last time but anyway first outfit I'm shooting this one which this is actually from my previous collection with Karen Millen um, obviously it's now getting warmer and I really want to shoot the stuff that I've not been able to wear so I thought this was perfect for in front of the blossoms We've just finished up shooting the first look and now we're going to head over to the pool house which means that I get to walk you through the walled garden and show you the new greenhouse, um, show you how it's... Actually no, I'm going to save it because we can actually get into the pool house from here and this is no ordinary pool house. This is a pool house with a kitchen, a dining area, a living room, a tennis court and an upstairs like very beautiful dining room as well. This is just... Yeah, this is just not what you're expecting. I can show you though, a beautiful view over the kitchen garden. So this is going to be turned into a one or two bedroom cottage. This is the new Alitex greenhouse that they've just had um, installed and Nova just let me know that it is her happy place, which I always knew it would be. Um, she's just started planting her dahlias and getting those in and this will all be erupting into beautiful blooms very, very soon. But this over here is the swimming pool, which is safely walled. There's also a croquet lawn and this room where Katie is just heading in is decorated by Sewn, which is a brand that I am very, very familiar with and in love with. And um, we're going to be doing a little shoot in here quickly. So just to show you that we have beautiful tennis courts as well with views over the beautiful grounds. But this is the piece de resistance, complete with mascara and a sneak peek. <laughs> but this little seat here is where I'm going to be perching myself, I think in that white dress. And oh my gosh, look, she's got teacups and saucers. Oh, <gasps> oh my gosh, she, this is just too much. I can't cope. This is so pretty. I can't believe this is an Amazon dress. I know, it comes in every color you could ever want as well. It comes in sage green. It is literally like, oh yeah, gorgeous. Let me just sort the dress out. So we've got multiple, maximum beautifulness. Yeah, you're definitely a green girl. Oh yeah, that I am, dear. This is the spectacular pool house. In fact, I'm just going to give you a quick tour whilst we're here. So we've shown you the room up here where we were just shooting. Um, that, that room is decorated by its own, like I said. Look at this. Like even with the beautiful flowers growing out of the walls, it is truly so stunning. Imagine having like a little bridal breakfast. I've just thrown my dresses over there um, in here by the chandelier you've got the tennis courts and then you have obviously the pool tennis courts there's james and ali i love james's stance yeah i love james's stance when it <laughs> whenever he shoots ali and then this is the pool house that the boys have taken over which this is actually decorated by nova herself and when i tell you that this is i feel like carrie grayson would love this like there's touches of pink alongside this tone of green carrie if you're watching this i feel like this is like your kitchen this is like what you want you don't need to go all out with the pink but this has got a subtle almost like setting plaster wall color it's not even been painted and then she's got these touches of magenta um, and then these stripes on the on the ottomans these cupboards are a triumph and then you come down here like i said we've kind of taken over um but this then leads to the tennis courts down here beautiful sewn curtains with the tulips this this oh gosh this is the second tennis, tennis serve i've done go on federer First one, hit the net. Oh gosh. Ready? Yeah, and three, two, one, go. 
<laughs> well done, smashed it. <laughs> So this is the view up into the main pool house again, which honestly, and all of the tulips are coming out and just looking so lovely. And there's Katie, because it is very cold today <laughs> and it is raining quite a lot. Oh no. Oh yeah, no. We're gonna just manifest blue yeah. So this is the walled garden overlooked by the church. And this is the newly installed Alitex greenhouse. And this is all going to be espalier. Uh, apple trees along this little walkway here on the oak posts. You can see Nova in there. We're going to go and have a little tour of her greenhouse, I think, if, if I'm not going to be disturbing her. But this, imagine this, a place to get married in these gardens. Oh my gosh, there's the water feature, so you've got the sound of running water. The little cottage, it's just phenomenal. So this is the greenhouse that Nova has been working on and I'm actually look it looks like it's always been here like this is insane it it feels like a greenhouse from like the secret garden or something like that this looks like it's either going to be lavender or rosemary out the back here and just look at these views I actually can't cope and it's so funny she's got the same book um, up on her shelf although this one's for propagating but she's got the same book that I use as my bible here I use the exact same one so if you want it I'll link it down below but I think we're going to shoot some bits here um, by the tulips she's done these wonderful rows of tulips in her cut flower garden it's making me want to add some cut flower um, <laughs> little tulip beds for the future oh my gosh it's amazing we were just saying just when you think you've seen all that this house has to offer you stumble across the most spectacular bridge I'm gonna try and zoom in so you can see a little bit more but look at the detail oh my goodness we're gonna to have to take a little stroll down there afterwards I think it's amazing and then obviously look at the detail on this house it's just never-ending there's every every I could shoot here every week and I still would have places to shoot that I've not used yet because every season offers something different. Honestly, it is truly wonderful here. I'll never ever, never ever take, take for granted the fact that I get to shoot here because it's just the most wonderful place. I actually didn't think I was going to show you anything inside the house on this trip. However, I could not show you this room. This is the Rose Room and it is just I feel like <laughs> I can't stop going on about how beautiful this house is but I love this um table I love occasion tables I really need to get more occasion tables into my house somehow um and especially with beautiful tablecloths like this and then decorated with an assortment of books and magazines I think this is the book that Nova has told me that I need to get the land gardeners cut flowers um, apparently this is like the bible of cut flowers she said to me oh you need to make sure that you get your dahlias in obviously oh gosh obviously I've never done dahlias or any cut flowers so I'm trying to oh gosh yeah I do think I'm going to order this book on the way home because this is spectacular um, but yes, very, very beautiful and perfect in this room. I love this writing desk. This is something I want to put in the back guest bedroom against one of the walls because I just think they look so lovely. And then we have a wonderful Goyard antique trunk complete with beautiful books, tapestry cushions that I feel like Nova does so well. I love mismatched bedside tables. Ali really doesn't, but I am so, so into mismatched um, bedside tables. And it's just, she's just so good at finding things and it just looks perfect. Everything looks like an oil painting. And then we have views over the Lutchens Bridge over there and all over the gardens. Oh my goodness me. Just wonderful. I love it here. I really, really do. Oh my gosh. I am a drowned rat. Mm -hmm. Look at this side of my hair. Like what? 
what is that oh my gosh okay yeah so another wet day at ashby manor house um i think i was probably looking at the wrong weather forecast because it has rained pretty much non-stop all day however we have got some fantastic shots despite it raining we still had lots of good daylight it was actually the weirdest um the weirdest weather because it was like quite bright and just kind of cloudy overcast it didn't seem like it should be raining so it was really odd but of course I've asked Nova if we can come back when it's like warm and sunny and beautiful and all the flowers I mean it's beautiful all the time but there's like tulips right on the cusp of like blooming there was like one in the beds that was like pink and beautiful and I've just got to come back I honestly think obviously I recently went to Keythorpe Hall and it was just amazing but I think that there's like so many and this is a completely different style of house of course but like there's so many multi-facets to this house that you just never know what you're gonna see and it changes so much with every time that you come here that you're just always getting something new so I can't wait to come back I can't wait. Anyway, we're going to get Katie back. I've got lots of pictures to edit tonight. I've got dinner to make and um, I'm pooped. So that's that. And a fire to light. And a fire to light because we are cold <laughs> with a capital old. In fact, would you like a heated seat on? Massage, please. Just massage? No, no, you no, don't heat, like heat, no. Why don't you like heated seats? Katie never wants a heated seat on. <laughs> I get too hot. What? <laughs> but that's the whole point. Are you not cold? I'll literally fall asleep in your car. Okay, all right. Okay. There we go. We've both got massage. I've got the hot stone massage on though. What a treat. Mm. <laughs> right, let's go. Oh, goodness me. We are back, obviously. It's now late. And we are back from um, Ashby Manor House. And, oh, my goodness. So today, because I was actually able to shoot, I probably didn't get to vlog as much as I wanted to. But fingers crossed, I'm going to get to go back to the gardens um, in summertime. And... Uh, show you all of the flowers because I think it's just the most magical place. I don't think I've ever seen a country home like hers, like Nova's. It's just, it's honestly unreal. Like I, I still haven't seen it all. So I could go back there. I think I could probably spend three days there. And I think then I would have been able to give you the, the tour of the place that I would want to give you because there's lakes, there's, there's just, there's just so much there's so so much i have no way of comprehending how they manage to keep it in the standard that they do because it is immaculate and the size like whenever i think i've seen all of the outbuildings i haven't i just don't know how they're keeping it so immaculate it's just beautiful but ali was shooting there as well we were both very very tired when we finished so um we've had dinner we've had the fire on and we've just kind of been quiet for a few hours we've just put the dogs out now for their nighttime wee and i think we're going to get ready for bed because i am exceptionally sleepy and tired but it was a great day considering the weather did not like play ball I actually shot so much content. I'm, I'm really happy with the stuff that I got and I can't wait to start like posting it and things like that. But yeah, no, it was um, a good day, a very good day. Tomorrow I have a busy day again. I have um, fittings for things at the house. Um, so yeah, I've got fittings for, for some new bits and pieces and I have a meeting and I have lots and lots of work to get on with as well. So it's a busy day tomorrow. And then we've got the long bank holiday, which we're really looking forward to. We've decided to have um, some of Ali's friends, like couple friends over for Ali's birthday on the Saturday. We're gonna have a pizza party. And I've also just got the great news that our, our cushions are like, but the first set of our outdoor cushions are going to be ready for the weekend. So I'm gonna be able to pick up the first set. So basically we, we got our, new, our Oxenwood uh, sofa cushions re-upholstered in a beautiful sage green with ivory piping. The first full sofa is done. So we'll pick that up tomorrow and then the second sofa should be ready by Saturday, which I'll then go and pick up. So it's gonna start coming together on the terrace now that everything's starting to bloom and things like that. It's, um, I just think it's gonna look so fantastic out there this year. I'm honestly just beeping.
beaming or beaming? I'm beaming. It was so lovely seeing Katie as well. I hadn't seen Katie since before Christmas because the weather has just been so miserable. We've not been able to really have like proper shoot days or anything. And yes, so exciting times. I um, am so inspired by Nova's home as well. I've been searching because she had these really lovely linen embroidered um, tissue box covers. Now hers were from Australia, but I've looked on Etsy and I can get some with like initials on them and things like that. So I've been scouring for those, but I'm going to get myself ready for bed and see you guys in the morning because it's another busy day tomorrow. When I tell you that I think my husband might divorce me, I genuinely mean it because at the moment we're running a risk of being taken over by plants. You know how people are worried about AI? I'm not worried about AI. I'm worried about being taken over by plants in my own home because they just keep arriving and I just keep ordering them. <laughs> this is the Oxalis um, that August recommended that we buy for like edible flower garnishes. It's actually the leaves that make, um, they look almost like butterflies, but it tastes so wonderful so i'm gonna it's obviously been on its way here but i'm going to nurse it back to health and pop it on the windowsill the puppy's already in bed and they do not like hearing me talking in the kitchen without them here so i'm gonna pop this on the windowsill not tell my husband about it and go to bed because this could be the end of my marriage <laughs> good morning everyone you might hear the tinkling sounds of um, our playlist. I've put a different spring playlist on today and I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'll see if I, if there's a way that I can share which playlist because I know that you guys always want to listen to the same ones. I am up feeling very, very tired today um, after yesterday. I think it was probably to do with the cold and the fact that we got so much shot and it was a really productive day, but it was very, very cold. Um, today is wet. A very very wet day uh, which is nice because I'm actually not leaving the house and I don't have to leave the comforts of my home um, I have a number of meetings today first and foremost I have a fitting um, with the Karen Millen team so that's gonna take up the most of my morning then I've got another meeting in the afternoon as well and all the while I'm going to attempt to keep vlogging with you as well although I look so sleepy in my face today but I'm wearing this gorgeous lily silk uh, silk dress 100% silk I've got this in the green and I actually sized up this time so that it fit me on the shoulders just a little bit sharper um, and that there's now more fabric in the skirt so I took a size up and I've swapped out the belt as well with this you can wear this done up or you can wear it undone this is very much like a military style shirt and it comes in green as well if you haven't already seen it but obviously I've got all of my codes in the description box down below but I thought I would show you this one um, on me as well show you that I'm wearing it because I have been eagerly waiting to wear these pieces but I didn't want to ruin them before I showed them to you in a video oh. <laughs> it's like the dilemma of my entire life I'm like I don't want to like get puppy dog juices all over dresses like yesterday because I'd worn the um, cream knitted silk dress beforehand I was shooting it and I realized I had puppy dog juice which is not nice um, and pretty gross to be honest um, but this morning Mr Millen Gordon has decided that he is going to have a birthday party this weekend um, he's just he's just invited some of his friends and their girlfriends over and um, we're going to be hopefully having a pizza party in the garden uh, which is great because I've actually got Gemma coming over tomorrow to replace the pots that have succumbed to the winter diseases and also we're just going to have a bit of a refresh in the house so we're going to do the terrace we're going to just basically have a little bit of a mini spring install I, like i said to you i wasn't hugely inspired this year and so i didn't really have my big spring install i think it's to do with the weather um but i'm looking forward to just breathing some new life into the house as well um especially because the weather's supposed to be quite lovely this morning uh, this weekend so it should be good but for the most part, busy day ahead, so I am going to crack on. Well, I have just finished for the bank holiday weekend. I just had my last meeting until Tuesday next week and we've just taken delivery of something that I am so excited about. We have our, the first third of our newly upholstered 
garden furniture cushions and it's the oxenwood one so i'm going to pick up the other cushion it's just we're just missing the bottom cushion um i'm going to pick that up in a couple of days just because obviously ali's decided that he's having this party everyone has confirmed which I'm a bit nervous about. We've got like 30 people coming. We haven't even got a DJ and we've just paid a guy that's gonna come and do the pizza oven so that Ali doesn't have to spend his entire birthday basically feeding everyone. But the cushions have arrived. Ali, yeah. do you want to help and come and have a look at what the cushions are gonna look like? The sun shining. Um, are we leaving them out? Or? No, no, but just to try them out. Okay. <laughs> so. This is the first slot in the Kia. Hello, my small sausage. Have you had a look at them? Yeah. But not the big ones. No, they look good, don't they? They look amazing. So, um, basically, Carrie got um, a chair upholstered at her house and she told me about this lady. So this isn't the same place that I'm getting my blinds done. This is basically just a lady that started doing this in lockdown and she helped me with picking the fabrics. She found this fabric actually. I looked at quite a few different ones, but this ended up being the best shade um, of sort of like sage without it being too sort of green. It just feels like it matched our area so much. So we're having all of the, uh, all of the, cushions for the table and for the, what's it called? The sun loungers, everything re -upholstered. And we went, oh, the piping is perfect. She's amazing. Oh, right, let's get them on the sofas outside. Oh my goodness, it's so perfect. So we've kind of matched the green-ish to the windows. It's so much softer and it almost has this like linen look to it. Ali's saving one of his bees. Yeah, exactly. He needs some water or something, doesn't he? No, it doesn't. It's cold. Oh my gosh, look at the pollen. We're going to be having that in our honey. His little leg warmers. Her. Her little leg warmers. What does she need then? She get back to her hive. Okay, you take her back. It's getting too cold. Yeah. It's getting later. So, tomorrow we're having the uh, terrace dressed with pots, which will obviously make a big difference. I'm thinking like ruffly ranunculars on these ones, and we'll get the cushions out. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. So happy. Well, that didn't go well. <laughs> it was out for all of five minutes, and it's just started hailing. If anything says, British weather, that is it. I didn't even get to take a picture. Look at that. <laughs> oh dear. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Well, I thought I'd end this vlog in my greenhouse because everything needs a good water. I wanted to give you the good news that my tiny little um, tomato sprouts survived and they're doing really, really well. Um, everything else is obviously coming up as well. I've got so many seeds to sow over the weekend as well. So I'm just going to give everything a good water and um, just basically spend some good time out here. Just give everything a drink and then hopefully over the bank holiday weekend I'll get to do loads of work out here as well and just <gasps> get everything going, everything flowing nicely. I'm very, very excited. Um, Tomorrow I will be basically getting the house ready for spring, which feels surreal, um, but I'm so looking forward to it. Lots of new blooms, new pots, new wonderfulness. We're going to be mowing the lawn, jet washing the patio, getting everything ready for having friends over at the weekend, which is going to be lovely. Barclay and Porter, as usual, wreaking havoc in the garden, so I'm going to get my watering can and give everything water. <laughs>